right my dear students so we have completed uh, uh, the uh, unit 2 uh, of jnt uk syllabus that is uh, laterally loaded frames okay analysis of laterally loaded frames by approximate methods so if you just uh, two methods portal and cantilever methods right so that was the end of that in the last session and now in this session the unit three uh, is uh, the topic unit three is cables and suspension bridges so this is completely different from your uh, regular topics uh, of beams and columns like that okay so just like your uh, arches okay so which is uh, very different from the regular type of structures so let us see uh, cables and uh, suspension bridges very common uh, in our daily life when when you travel you will see a lot of them so first let us see uh, what is there in your syllabus uh, what to talk in this uh, unit 3 then we will go uh, in detail uh, uh, about each topic so introduction we shall talk about uh, what it is exactly and then we will talk about characteristics of cable and then the theorem uh, uh, for which the cable shall satisfy so general cable theorem it is called and then uh, we will talk about uh, we will do some analysis of cables subjected to concentrated and uniformly distributed loads analysis in the sense you shall find the internal forces in the cables and also the support reactions uh, uh, for which uh, the uh, the supports provided for cables okay so both internal and external uh, reactions right then we shall talk about what is meant by anchor cable anchor cable means what and what its purpose uh, then we'll talk about temperature stresses and how temperature is going to affect the cables right and then we will go to the part of suspension bridges as your title itself is of uh, you know cables and suspension bridges so we will talk about uh, suspension bridge analysis so we have two types of suspension bridges namely uh, three hinged stiffening girder suspension bridges so uh, a suspension uh, bridge shall have a stiffening girder uh, for the stability of the shape of the cable so there you have two options you can have three hinges for stiffening girder or two hinges for stiffening girder okay so i think uh, uh, this is the syllabus that you have to uh, study in this unit three okay so let us see uh, overall if you see so first we will talk about exclusively cables and then we will talk about uh, the suspension bridges okay suspension uh, bridge uh, itself is like suspended by something so hanging okay so suspended by the cables in fact so suspension bridge in suspension bridge cable is part of it okay so first we study about cables then uh, this the that must be applied the knowledge of cables 
must be applied in uh, the case of uh, solving for suspension ridges. That's why uh, you have to first uh, study about cables, then come to suspension bridges. Okay, right. So let's say some of the suspension bridges uh, in India exclusively um, in India, uh, particularly. This is like uh, in San Francisco, anyhow. So uh, we will go around the world also so golden gate bridge which is built in 1937 you can see uh, how beautiful it is the san francisco golden gate bridge okay so if you if you just see the see the diagram what you see uh, there is a river flowing and you have two bunds of it so the two bunds of uh, river so the traffic if you want to cross the river you should have something to cross the river so usually if you don't have a bridge uh, how you cross the bridge is by a boat okay or a steamer so then what is the problem because the travel time risk and the number of people uh, it can accommodate. Now you can see if you have a bridge, a travel time, and the number of people that are being transported from one end of the river to the other end of the river. Okay, and risk is no risk at all, very minimum. Okay, because all safety measures are taken care of when you design a bridge. So this is how uh, the now I'm just trying to figure out uh, the purpose of a bridge. Okay, then now that you can see that um, uh, all over the world now the the construction industry is picking up, and now you can see uh, a lot of them like that. Okay, so recently in Hyderabad also. Uh, we have one cable bridge uh, inaugurated by uh, CM of Telangana, right? So this is the other one, uh, new Yamuna bridge. See how beautiful it is. Uh, 2004 it is built and uh, by uh, Hindustan Construction Company Limited, HCC. It's a steel bridge. So you can see that the span is 1.5 kilometers roughly i mean the length of the bridge total length of the bridge from one end to the other end whereas the span means uh, i mean to say what does the span means so that from this point to this point the the span is 260 meters 260 meters span okay so if you just think of a normal beam now wh what you can do okay so this is 260 meters span so this this distance from here to here so what you generally design a beam in regular regular structures like buildings so what you design for is like uh, the maximum size of a room, a living place uh, in a building, mostly, you know, 14 feet. Okay, let it be 20 feet, no problem, 21 feet roughly. So seven meters, seven meters, roughly each meter has got say three feet. Uh, so uh, seven meters, not more than Put it in like this not more than 10 meters okay so it's just like 10 meters that you are just thinking of in a regular structure so for even just a 10 meter span what you are getting a cross section is of depth so much of depth like some 300 okay by some 600 or so 
or 500, 600 depth. It's just for 10 meter span. Okay. Now you think of 26 times to this. 26 times. Okay. So what happens? Bending moment, which means WL square by 8. Okay. This is the maximum bending moment. Just think of just just a rough calculation. So L has become 26 times. So what means 26 square? So bending moment will be L square, right? So 26 whole square. Whole square. So I'll just put it in this way. Roughly 30, if you take 30 square, 900 times your bending moment is increasing 900 times the bending moment is increasing okay so just like this uh, a beam if you are thinking of is no way enough so you shall have a very huge beam very huge beam okay so then what is the problem to provide a huge beam right if you increase the size the weight of the beam itself is going to be major load on this bridge not the vehicle vehicular load the weight of uh, the beam itself is going to be very very high so the option to provide now if it is small we call it as beam if it is no bigger one so we call it as girder so girder option okay so girder option is no way possible so that's why you have these cables you see all these are you know, cables so what is going on the cables are holding the bridge right the, the deck of the bridge the cables are holding so that is why we are calling it as suspension bridge hanging suspended okay so suspension bridge concept so what you have so if you have something a, a plank for example so put a load on this so what happens plank is going to bend like this rather if you have something holding to the plank then if you load it the beam action is going to be reduced so we are worried about this uh, heavy bending moment if you provide just beam not with this cables so cables are provided just to take care of this now counterparting the counteraction to this beam action you will see uh, in detail into this uh, analysis anyhow i'll just uh, want to say that uh, without cables it is not going to be possible to provide such huge spans okay so the bridge means the span is a major concern okay so you have to have uh, a large spans okay so that is a problem with this let's go for the next slide so this is in Allahabad, india in our own india so new yamuna bridge constructed in 2004 okay so this is the another one which is the largest uh bridge having longest span in india uh, in asia right so vidya sagar setu the longest span means the distance between the two supports i was just talking about 260 now you can see 457 Point two meters uh, roughly 2700 feet okay so this is uh, how uh, it is so it is in kolkata uh, uh, west bengal 
so this this is the speciality of this one longest span in asia okay span in the sense not the length of the bridge is distance there are two terms here i'm talking about span of the bridge length of the bridge okay so if you have bridge means you have many supports right more than one support so like this so what we call this as span length of the bridge this one the total length of the bridge this is span of the bridge between two supports okay so that is 457.2 right so this is another view of the same one same bridge so vidya sagar setu bridge or uh, that is in the morning uh, and now this is in the day daylight right so this is the, the same bridge of another view so you can see that the span is very very lengthy right but that was about the bridges that you have suspension bridges right from the world famous uh, golden gate bridge we started with so you can see the change change over in, in the days to come uh, how bridges are being constructed so the way the supports are the the supporting towers are built the way the cables are being laid all the change over it is in 1937 now you can see how the tower uh, is being provided the, the way the tower is being constructed and the way the cables are being laid the, everything has changed from you know, around this is in 2004 similarly the other one right so this is in 94 constructed in 94 right so this is how the the, the huge constructions you are thinking of the cable stayed uh, bridges okay so suspension bridges what you what you call so this is a, a little bit uh, introductory content that uh, what are they right